जय सुगंधिनी त्रिपुर सुंदरी जय महेश्वरी जय जन प्रिय जय सुनादिनी जगत पराबिके महिषमर्दिनी देवी माश्रिए शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी आदि पराशक्ति अंब बालिके हरि मनोहरी हार भूषणी ऐ सुभाषिनी आदि नायकी जय महालक्ष्मी देवी माश्रिए शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी शशिकलाधरी शारदाबिके सर्वूपिणी हम सवाहिनी ब्रह्मवर्दिनी पुस्तकधारिणी जय सरस्वती देवी माश्रिए शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी जय जन प्रिय ज्योति निर्मल जय शिव प्रिय सुंदरानंदम जति सुलोचन सिंहवाहिनी जय महाशक्ति देवी माश्रिए शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी देवी शरणमीश्वरी जाति कुल गोत्र दूरगम नाम रूप गुण दोष वर्जित देश काल विषयातिवर्तीयद ब्रह्म तत्वसी भावयात्म परम सकल वाद गोचर गोचर विमल बोध चक्षुष शुद्ध चिघन अनादिवस्तु यद ब्रह्म तत्वसी भावयात्म षिरूर्मिभिर योगी योगी हृद भावित न कर्णर्विभात बुद्ध्यम वद्यमस्ती यद ब्रह्म तत्वसी भावयात्म भ्रांति कल्पित जगत्कलाश्रय स्वाश्रय चदसद्विलक्षण निष्क निरुपमानवीय ब्रह्म तत्वसी भावयात्म जन्म वृद्धि परिणत्यपक्ष व्याधिनाशन विहीनमव्यय विश्वसृष्ट्यविघात कारण ब्रह्म तत्वसी भावयात्म
समस्त जन I'm going to say something which everybody knows, but rarely people follow. And that what I'm going to say. That what I'm going to say, which I said rarely people follow. If at all you want to know somebody who talks about it a lot, but who never lives it, is me, the fear. Fear, if you leave, you are liberated of all the various negative things. It is fear that controls, because fear is directly associated with the body. Understand? So if this fear has to go, as long as there is something else, fear cannot go insecure. That's what we saw in Rodar. Dvaya bhavati bhayam. Dvaya, out of duality, bhavati bhayam, fear is. Advayam abhayam. Advayam abhayam. Oh, Advayam, I see so many things, so many things. You are seeing, no doubt. You are no doubt seeing, but they are all your thoughts personified outside you. Your own thoughts, they have taken a form outside you, just like in your dream. In your dream, you have a multiple pluralistic world, but all that is a projection of your mind. So if you have to leave this fear, you have to stop seeing duality. And if you have to stop seeing duality, the knowledge that I alone am there has to come. Nothing else other than me. Therefore, the entire Vedanta, this is one sentence only, the essence. They talk in so many ways, but the essence is you alone are there. There's nothing other than you. This Truth that is shown to us as the one that you are seeking and the one that you think is limited are not two different. They are the same. Jiva, Brahma, Aikyam. Whatever unfolds this Jiva, Brahma, Aikyam, 
is the greatest thing that you can get through knowledge and wisdom and therefore the greatest sentence who whatever can reveal to you this identity is there for the greatest sentences greatest in sanskrit is called maha sentences are called vakyas maha vakyas so that is the essence of the entire teaching in that the primary thing is tattvamsi it is gurudev that uh, uh, gave the idea to ayappa devotees all over the world to put tattvamsi before the temple as they enter all over the world they know they are following ayappa temples but the original thought was given by sri gurudev tattvamsi i told you i am an expert in talking that the most stupid fellow ever living in fear right this is a story for us some fellow some fellow was all the time feeling that some bird is poking him all the time it was not real so he, he went to a psychiatrist after a few sessions he felt uh, now i am cured sir i have no fear the uh, doctor says congratulations he paid him a hefty fees went out in 10 minutes he ran into the room doctor asked what happened sir that bird has come you said you you are cured sir i know i am not the i know i am not i am not the bird but does the bird know that it is not me right i was thinking bird is there i am there so doctor said there is no bird other than you so now i know i am not the bird but the bird is still haunting me does it know that it is me only right so this is all our world it is mitran and he put a beautiful uh, sentence he said imagine a positive thought and drop a thought that limits you he did not say negative thought because that's where that's very different he did not say negative thought the thought that limits you because all that limits us is the thought all that it limits us is the thought no that story and uh, a little difference that i thought i am a rat and the crow or uh, bird is chasing me i know i am not the rat who you told me but that's the crow no i am not the rat there's a small difference in this way essentially the same but this is realistic right so the limitation is by your own mind would you put it beautifully somewhere at a stage knowledge becomes your own limitation knowledge becomes your own limitation you cannot but go on hunting after getting knowledge and knowledge and knowledge number 1 number 2 you cannot you cannot face another man who doesn't know this thing you feel he is ignorant you feel He is ignorant, and you go on chasing knowledge after knowledge, teacher after teacher, book after book. That becomes your bonding. That becomes your bonding. So whatever you have a value, that's the exact thing that binds. 
And as long as you have a value for something, fear is unavoidable. That's why in Gita, three, four places it comes. Vita, Raga, Bhayak, Roda. Raga, your attachment, your desire, your value brings in fear. And therefore, when there is an obstruction, Roda. It's strange. Sorrow doesn't live permanently. Sorrow happens when the thing has happened. And in time, because you have other things chasing you, it is forgotten. Sorrow is forgotten. Right? Guilt is also forgotten, but now and then it crops up. Fear is a thing that never leaves you because future is indefinite. Fear belongs to the future. Fear belongs to the future. It's indefinite. So if you can decide today, I shall drop my fear, you are liberated. You are liberated. Shall I tell you some personal secret? One day, I thought, because I was always afraid whether the mission will drop me. Right? Throw me out. One day I decided, why should I wait for them to throw out? I'll resign. I will resign. That's the way to get out of my fear. Why should I wait? I will resign. I go. Mission is not for me. The walls and the address. The walls and the address is not the mission to me. Then I thought it will create a lot of disturbances for others. So don't do it. Otherwise, I would have honestly done it because that's my limitation. That is my limitation. That's what Mitra and you put it beautifully. Right? It's a simple act of my quitting, causes a lot of wheels. So that also you have to be responsible. So all this can go only with knowledge. What is the knowledge that you are not the body? That conviction has to come. Conviction can come, but living is difficult. Why? You should, you are used to it. You are used to it. Conviction is called realization. That can come. But today's message from uh, Siddhananda was that. Swamiji is proud of that. Conviction can come, realization can come, but past vasanas to which you come, that will go only when this body is dropped. <clears throat> this body is dropped. So you have to continuously practice, I am not the body, I am not the mind, I am not the intellect, jati, niti, kola, dhotra, dhura, gam, nama, rupa, guna, dosha, but you come. Right? You have to practice. How? Continuously have to say, Chidananda Rupa Shivo Shivo Shivo. Right? I am not this. I am not this. Nirvan Shakta. First two words. I am not this. Mano Buddhi Ahankara Chittani Na. Nacha Sotra Jikve Nacha Grana Nid. But I am Chidananda Rupa Shivo Shivo. One part doing, second part living doesn't help. All this can still happen only when you are convinced what the Guru said, Tattva Masi is Aham Brahma as me. I am that one essence of everything. I alone am there. Anything other than me are all illusions and delusions. I alone am there. There's nothing other. Somebody is going to hurt me is me. Is me. Right? Nobody can hurt you without the permission of God. In the last class also Satish told me, 20 minutes you go on talking what you like. 
so time is spent. But that 20 minutes is important for me. The first 20 minutes because that alone helps living. Right? So for us to detach from the body and to attach to the self, this is called abhyasa and vairagya. Abhyasa attached to the self, vairagya detached from the body is all that you have to do. Continuously say, I am not the rat. I am not the rat. The world that is chasing me is not the crow. I am different from the rat and the crow. Right? Continuous suggestion you have to do. And do. <clears throat> what happens? See, I am very serious about it because this is the way I, I think whatever I talk in the class or put in the group, some people have known the knack today, now of me. If I put a message, they read it and immediately ask me what happened to them. Because they can understand my mind through that. You understand? So therefore, you can, you can understand. But to live that, you need prop. You need prop. Prop is satsang. Prop is satsang. Satsang also can vary. Many of my students have come out of their illusions and delusions. And now they know they have wasted their time with me. So satsang should be Something that doesn't change is God. You don't know God, Guru. Guru is God. Guru, you know. Guru is Satsang. Hold on to Him. See Him in every minute. Because without the, per without the permission of the Lord, without the permission of Guru, nothing can ever touch you. And if it touches you and you are having problem, it has the permission of God and Guru. Why should you resist? Why should you resist? If it is the permission of my God and my Guru, why should I resist anything? <clears throat> because God and Guru give me, do to me what is only good for me. Only good for me. Therefore, why should I resist when it is sent by God and Guru? Because it's good for me. The moment you leave this resistance, you are liberated. So for today's class, just carry these two words. The moment you lose fear, you are liberated. The moment you leave resistance, you are liberated. This leaving resistance is called acceptance. That's called in another term, surrender. All are same. This non-resistance, acceptance, and surrender. They are all same. The moment you decide on that and leave that, who can do what to you? Because you know value for the body, and anything anybody can do is for the body. You have absolutely no value. You have absolutely no value. Who can do what to you? I read somewhere, but then I searched again. I searched again. Don't do anything when I'm taking the class. All right. right? See, it's cut off. You read it somewhere. Huh? You said you read somewhere. You read somewhere. Right? You read something. I read something. What's something? I had to read it. <laughs> I forgot it. So it's an important thing. It got cut off. Because in this beta, when you sit and talk, to you, apparently, I am speaking. I has gone. Only Guru is speaking. 
so that mind has gone. When something happens before me, the mind comes. The mind comes and that takes the thing. That's why Guru, Gurudev, you know, is to be very sensitive about people coming and sitting before being with children and all that. So anyway, that thing, your understanding and living up to that is a mass. Leaving the fears. <clears throat> what anybody can do if you feel you are not the body. Maximum they can kill you. You are not the body and it's a relief. All of us are afraid of death. But you do not know. Death is the greatest relief. Death is the greatest relief. Even if you are not going to end the life with this death in one more body. You are getting a break, I see. You need a break. You need a break. Ah, Guru, God doesn't give you something what is not good for you. When they give, it's good for you. Accept it. Right? So, that is called non-resistance, acceptance and surrender. But this surrender finally last stage Gurudev used to give this example. Go on knocking at the door. Come to the door, up to the door. Knock. Finally the Guru has to open the door you are sacred in. One more thing is Gurudev only said this also. Go to the harbour. At a particular place, you have to stop and give signals. The pilot ship has to come and take you. Krupaya pare kahi murare. That is the cry, sig signal. And then the Guru comes and takes you. Krupaya pare kahi murare. So all this can go only with the knowledge and nothing else. Nothing else. Any amount of doing. I have memorized 700 Gita Slokas. You tell me the number 931, I will tell you what is it. You tell me 524, I will tell you what is it. So uh, Gurudev said to some student, you wasted all your time. Tape recorder would have done that job. Tape recorder would have done that job. Why did you waste it? And Shankara says, Shabda Jaram Maharanyam Chitta Pramanakaran. This word, this thing, is a big forest where your mind can go on roaming without a direction. Shabda Jalam Maharanyam Chitta Pramanaka. And then he follows. Nade Pare Tatve, if you know the truth, you don't need the scripture. Nade Pare Tatve, you don't need the Vidya. Agnade Pare Tatve, if you do not know the truth, then Shastra is also useless. So what to do? Through Shastra, through Shastra, get the Apta Vakya. Apta Vakya is a sentence given to you by a Guru, which is beneficial to you with total love. Get a sentence, then do Manana. Then get established. Then that has said meaning, that Vakya. If merely Vakyas you go on gathering, Avignate pare tatve shastra dhistu nishpala. Vignate pare tatve shastra dhistu nishpala. So what, what, what is in between? Get this, uh, this thing, do manana and experience that Vakya. Experience that Vakya. 
we all think we have somebody said in india we don't worry about anything you know why we have number of lives even mucha not to worry them so many lives are there what where is the urgency but it helps uh, without this knowledge getting established there you made the biggest in the world it's health it's health is still a ratan tata so many things he did did he do he is not an engineer he is not a chemist the engineers did it chemists did it nobody knows who did it but everybody is talking about ratan tata because it's not that shastra that is important the man who was he is a he is a man of integrity humility and love man of integrity humility and love so get that knowledge and that is the only thing under your control you don't have control to become ratan tata you don't have to you don't have control to become shantanu naidu either you don't have control to become tendulkar you don't have control to become lata mangeshkar you have control to be brahman because there you are already that drop all the thoughts that are covering you that you have the control and once you are that all these people are in that whomever you wanted to be they are in that so tattvamasi is the most important thing experience aham brahmasmi is the most important sentence therefore any sentence that gives you utility any assemblage of words that give utility is called a sentence if independent words it's not a sentence and a sentence that gives you maximum utility is called a mahavakya it's called a mahava what is the maximum utility to tell you you are that what you are seeking you are that brahma therefore bhagavata says what is the essence of bhagavata sarva vedanta satvam brahmatma eka lakshanam essence of all the vedanta what is the essence of all the vedanta brahma atma eka lakshanam the oneness of the individual and brahman tan uh, yat vastu advitiyam that which is non dual tan nishtam kaivalya eka prayojana you practice that you experience kaivalyam kevala stiti not tamil kevala right aloneness a state where there are no disturbances a state where there is no mind a state where there is no duality a state where there is no plurality that's called kaivalya tan nishtha kaivalya eka prayojana and therefore since all the upanishads are talking about that but they have to prepare our mind therefore upasanas therefore upasanas in through upasanas you first make to learn the art of focusing many children you think it's a mistake it is not many children when they study they need a tv on or a radio on it's not a mistake what tv does is what tv does is their shattered mind in 100 directions come to one focal point tv and from there they concentrate on what they are studying you understand we think tv children are uh, become addicted to tv no they have discovered only with that they are able to concentrate therefore upasanas therefore upasanas these upasanas are there in every upanishad including mandukya and uh, brudaratka we said 
and in turn to the all the vipassanas talked in brudarinika are talked here especially at the vipassana level at the teaching level both both emphasize on prana that is why they say prana na mangre because you don't need prana na mangre right prana come to the level of the prana then you see where prana this let's the consciousness that you are that is why they talk about so this upanishad sixth skanda the approach is to find the essence in all so he says yatha samya ekena dukpindena in one ball of mud if you know the essence you know the essence in all muds in one ornament if you know the essence gold you know the gold everywhere so he taught us how to focus on that which is essence how to focus he follows it the essence is that which never leaves to waking dream deep sleep state through waking deep dream and deep sleep state what is there is me waking has gone dream has gone deep sleep i woke up but i was there in waking i was there in dream i was there in deep sleep so that weight is there anvaya in all the three states and that and those three states mutually cancel each other when they are there i am there when they are not there also i am there that's called anvaya when they are not there i am there is called vetireka so anvaya vetireka nyaya avastha prayam he says and then to say all this has come from him the whole world convincingly says the whole world is pancha bhutas here he takes only three bhutas teja apa anna teja fire from fire comes water how he said when you sit before uh, oven you sweat you run you create heat you you sweat right so water comes from teja and food comes from water without water where is the food and teja comes from water sorry water comes from teja food comes from water where from teja comes here is uh, did not say because it's not necessary he thought why where from why comes akasha where from akasha comes where from akasha it is the first manifestation as time time and space are seen of bhagavan itself antah brahma rupena bahihi kala rupena he alone inside is brahman inside means inside every name and form outside in the form of time in the form of time he alone is there in the name and forms so if you can know that which is common in all mud pots and pans etc that what is common is the essence and that you are the common in all ornaments that which is common is gold that you are right so that thing. so he said how to know from akasha came from existence brahman as time space from space vayu from vayu teja from teja apa from apa anna or yeah yeah both are same right this is how it has come 
And if you know this is how it has come, the effect cannot be different from the cause. Swamiji's poor loss of cause effect field. The effect is modification of the cause. The cause is inherent and coherent in the effect. Remove the cause, the effects are not there. Nobody can make you simpler like you did. Right? So that which is there in all modifications, Nama, Rupa, in all the mud pots and all that, in all the ornaments, in all the dream characters, that which is their essence is that you are. Is that you are. So it talks about the essence. Right? And then Vedanta has two ways of saying one from top to bottom. Existence, Akasha, Vayu. Second, from bottom to top, Taitya Upanishad adopts both the things. Both the things. You see food. See where from it comes. Food is the shoot. What is its root? Air. Air is the sorry. Water. Water is the shoot. What is its root? Fire. Top to bottom, bottom to top. He uses the word shoot, shroom, and root. Right? Root is shrunka, root is mula. Right? Annam is the shrunka, sprout. The root is water. The sprout is water. Its root is teja. And now, teja can it be without a root? He asks. He doesn't even go to Vayu and Akash. He, he just says, this is enough for you to think. This is enough for you to think. If Anna has a root, and Anna is in effect. Anna has a root. The root is water. Water has a root. The, the, the root is fire. The root is fire. Can fire be without a root? He is asking. The root of fire is existence. He skipped it to in between. That's why in Tattabod we do Panchi Karanam, here Tribhut Karanam, three. Okay. What a beautiful way of saying, if something has a root and you can go up to pra, uh, Teja because they are seen, can Teja that is seen have, can be without a root? So this technique he adopts, and then Toro Shakalatma, he, he, he dead, saying that food is the mind. Why did he do? If food is the mind, food is from water, water is from Teja, Teja is from existence, your mind also is existence, consciousness, God. Are you able to understand? Right? So that is why Shoda Shakala Atma, he takes the topic of mind. Why? Right? Mind when fasted, it cannot be active, no food. Mind is made up of food. Food is made up of water. Water is made up of fire. Fire is made up of existence. So mind is existence. So the entire world is nothing but your mind. Therefore, it's all existence. So existence only. Sat. Sadeva idamagra hasi. Sat alone was there in the beginning. And therefore, everything that has come from Sat has to be Sat. 
From gold, iron cannot come. From gold, iron cannot come. And then, he, before he goes to existence, one step he takes, this fire, its support, its root, is prana, is prana, and this prana, you must talk out of understand. There is a sentence there, truth with truth. Truth with truth. That is truth with understanding. Truth with understanding. This prana. Otherwise, you just think breathing is prana. Breathing is not prana. Breathing is only air. That is Brahman. You go to petrol pump. Right? Fill up a dead body. If you don't get life, you don't get blood. And this subtle essence, which is common in all, for you to know the essence in food is water. And the essence of water is fire. Essence of fire is prana existence. This is the truth. That is the, what they call it uh, in English, which comes well, when you conclude, there, there's a name for that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, ya deshaha anima tadapnim idam sarvam. This subtle essence is all this, what you see. Tat satyam. That essence alone is the truth. So, ya deshaha anima Atman, idam, sarvam. Tat sarvam. Sa atma, that is the life factor everywhere. Tattvamasi, that you are. Tattvamasi, shweta kirikul. Once you have understood the mud in all the parts, that mud is the truth. And once you understand you are nothing but that mud, you can see it many times. Right? You understood that. You are the essence of all. Tattvamasi. Yeshaha, Anima, Atma, Yeva, Idam Sarvam, Tat Satyam, Tad Atma, Tattvamasi. You are that. And then, okay, now, you have said it. Now, how do I actualize it? Internalize How will I get it? No, that will come in the next book. Here, having said this, this thing, he gives three lovely examples in this book. One is the various bees collect honey from various flowers. Various bees from various flowers and make a beehive. In that, after that, you cannot distinguish from which flower that honey does. Right? Similarly, all these names and forms, when they go to their source, all of them are dissolved. Are dissolved into that source. That is one example. And when this dissolution happens, 
Vyagra, Simura and all that. Vyagra, Simma, various animals and various things. They all merge into Prakriti. All the differences have gone. In our dream itself, where are all the differences? They've all gone. Our dream is a micro aspect of the macro aspect of Pralaya. Right? All the differences have gone. Brahman is left. But then why I don't know I am Brahman? Because you have not still left the vasanas that you are the jiva. You are not able to recognize yourself to be the Atman. Because the vasanas are not, not being left. Therefore, this Vyagra, Shimma and all that, though they merge in Pradaya, in Mola Prakriti, which is nothing but Brahma, they are not able to know their identity. They are not able to know their identity. There, another example, water from various places come. They, 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 they fall on the mountains, become river, meets the ocean. Which ocean? Which ocean? There is only one ocean. You name it, seven oceans. You name it, seven oceans. There is only one Brahman. You name it, Ishwara, Vishnu, Brahma, Rudra, etc., etc. Similarly, one ocean is the only there. In that, all these come and merge. After that, you can't say this is Brahmaputra, that is Ganga, this is Kuvam. Kuvam and Brahmaputra all become one. And then uh, one more example. A tree, you cut it. Wherever you cut, that sap oozes out. It is common. When that sap that oozes out goes, branch by branch it dies. So that is the essence. How to know what is the essence? How to know what is the essence? And then he asks his son, two more examples, to bring Negroda, that is, I think, uh, Negroda is Atipadmi, you know, pit. He says, split it. He split. What are the seeds? Split a seed. He said, what is there? Nothing. How from nothing this tree has come? How from nothing? Please, you won't get another opportunity to understand them. Very subtle. If you have difficulty, you should ask him. He asked him to split the Negrodha, Atipadam. says, what do you see? Seeds. He asked him to split the seed. What do you see? Nothing. From what? Nothing. How can this tree come? He says, that is the truth. From that, what you cannot see, therefore you say nothing. From that only this tree has come. Therefore, Asato, he said earlier, Sadeva Yudameva Akra Asit. Asadeva Yudam Akra Asit. This asat alone was there. There was nothing. There is nothing because you cannot see. Names and forms are not there. Like the Negroda tree. Like the Negroda sea. Okay. Do you understand? Because this will come often. Sadeva Yudamagrasi, Dasadeva Yudamagrasi. How from non existence anything can be? It doesn't mean it's not there. You cannot see like the breaking of the Negroda fruit. When you break the Negroda seed, you cannot see anything. But from that only everything. Another thing he says, my dear boy, before you go to bed today, put salt into your tumbler. Bring next day. He brings the tumbler. Is the salt dissolved? Yes, daddy. Completely dissolved. Okay. Take the water from the bottom of the tumbler. Put it on your tongue. How does it taste? Salty. Then he says, put it in the middle. Put it on your tongue. How does it taste? Salty. Put it on the top. 
put it on the tongue. How does it taste? Salty. You understand? Similarly, in all these names and forms, what is there as the essence is this existence, is this all. With that, sixth is over, Tattvamasi. Now the same topic is discussed in the, I have time, no worry today, because this is the difficult question, right? So the next this thing, same thing is put little different. Here the emphasis is essence. Try to know that by the essence. There, the emphasis is the absence of duality. The absence of duality. Devotion, the maker. So he tries to prove, prove the reality of the duality. Right? He has his own methods. We'll see that. He tries to prove through different methods that the duality doesn't exist. And when it doesn't exist, there is only one Kaivalya. And that is Bhuma. If you see in anything other than Bhuma, it is Asatya, the one. If Ramaji is a beautiful example. You had Rama, Sita, Lakshmana, Anumanji made up of gold. Right? And uh, due to the play of time, you have become so poor. Though you were attached to those Vigrahas coming from generations, you have to sell them. You have to sell them. Take it to Umriyas, or Lenta, because their family is gold, gold jewelers. Lenta. And say, Rama, how many kgs? 15 kgs. Okay, grams. I don't even know that people do that. Right? Name alone go came <laughs> Right? So this 10 grams or something, that is this cost. Sitama, 8 grams is this cost. Lakshmana, 9 grams, because it has to be in between Rama and Sita. He cannot be less than Sitama. 9 grams, this much cost. Hanumanji, 7 grams is this. Right? Swamiji says it beautifully. All of them are equal weight, made same. So you go and fight with the jeweler. How can you give the same money what you give it to Hanuman, to Rama? How can you give this is 10,000? It's same weight. How can you say Rama is also 10,000? How can you say you give Lakshana 10,000 and Rama also 10,000? He says, I don't see Rama, I don't see Sita, I don't see Lakshmana, I don't see Hanuman, I see only gold. I see only gold. I value only by gold. Understand? So that's called Bhuma Vidya. Bhuma means biggest. Bhuma means biggest. Bhuma Vidya, the knowledge of the one essential truth. If you are seeing differences, you are not seeing the essence. The devotee asks, how can you give the same, what you give to Hanuman, to Rama? Because he doesn't see it as gold. The goldsmith says, I see only gold. He doesn't see the names and thoughts. So that put beautifully, that's the ending of that. But I will tell that and then come to that because that's the essence of the Seventh chapter. Yatra Nanyat Pashidu Nanyat Sunodi Nanyat Vijana Tat Goma, where you don't see anything other than the one truth, you don't hear anything other than the one truth.
That is the essence. Nanyat Pachiti, Nanyat Srinodhati, Nanyat Vadati, Tadeva Bhuma. Nanyat Vijayanati, sir. Nanyat Pashit, where you don't see anything other than that. Nanyat Srinodhati, you don't hear anything other, anything else other than that. You don't know anything else other than that. Nanyat Vijayanati, Nanyat Pashit, Nanyat Srinodhati, Nanyat Vijayanati. Tat Bhuma, that's the essence, that's the biggest. You why Bhuma, that which is Bhuma, biggest, Tad Amrutam, that is immortal. That is immortal. Tad Sukham, that is bliss. That is bliss. Yet, so if you see anything other than that. One truth that is Alpam. Opposite of Bhuma is Alpam. So he says, Yatra Nanyat Prashati, Nanyat Shnoti, Nanyat Vijanati, Sabhuma, Atha, therefore, Yatra Anyat Prashati, Anyat Shnoti, Anyat Vijanati, Tad Alpam. Yovai Bhuma, Tad Amrutam. That which is biggest is immortal. Tad Yad alpam tad matyam. What is alpha? Finite. Alpha means finite. Tad matyam. That is marker. Yovai bhuma tad amurtam. Yad alpam tad matyam. Marker. Sa bhagavaha kasmin na pratishtati. Where does that bhuma? Because everything should have a substrate. Everything should have a substrate. Where does this Bhuma sit? Yes. Kasmin Pratishtita. Where is it established? He says, Sve Mahim Neen. In its own glory. It doesn't need other support. Everything else needs a support. It doesn't need another support. Sve Mahim Neen. Right. Now, what is the story of the seven sixties, Svetaketu and Uddalaka Aruna? Seven is Narada and Sanatramada. But there is a difference. Uddalaka sent his son to learn. He came. This was so arrogant. What have we learned? All these. Okay, have you learned something? Haven't learned well, nothing else has to be learned. Oh, you know, that my teacher, I think, doesn't know. So the student there is arrogant. Here, no? same thing happens. Narada goes to the Gurukula, comes back. Sanat Kumar asks, What have you learned? He said, I learned Rukveda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, and all the Vedangas. All the Vedas, Vedangas, Astra Vidya, Shastra Vidya, everything I learned. Right? Then Sanat Kumar asks, has, Have we learned that? Having learned which? Nothing more to learn. 
No, even before they ask, Narada himself says, what I learned is only aparavikya, secondary knowledge. I didn't learn the paravidya, acharamadigamidya mundakopanisha. Look, Vedasama, Adharva, Shiksha Kalpo, Vyakarana Chendo, Jyotishamati. All this is Aparavidya. Rup Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda. Yaya, that Acharamadhyaka, that which goes beyond the word, letter, is the Paravidya. So here Narada confesses, I didn't learn that. Let us see. Narada meets with brothers and asks them to teach him Brahma Vidya. Adihi Bhagavan Iti Ha Upasasada Sanat Kumara Narada Narada Tamho Vata Yet Veta Yena 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 Upasida Tat Tat Uddham Pachami Saho Vata Narada went to Son of Kumaras, please keep me. There, he was very arrogant. He could no question. Ask, please teach me. That comes later when he was humbled. Here, when he went itself, my brothers, please teach me. Okay, I'll teach you. But first, tell me what all you have learned. Because I should know. Then only, when you go to your doctor, what do you do? You have to take all the medical history previous history. Then only the doctor can diagnose. Same thing, please tell me what all you have learned. Then I will teach you. Toham Bhagavu Mantra Vide Vatni Na Atma Vitrutam Vitrutam Hevami Bhagavan Bhagavad Bhagavad Dushe Bhyas Tarati I have only known the verbal text. I have not, like you, gone beyond them. So, Drushe Pyaha, the sea, Tarati, one can go beyond names and forms. That I have not learned. Soham Atma Vidhiti, Soham Bhagavaha Sochami. Why I have a doubt what I have learned? See, you must not miss these steps. You, you have learned all the upper vidya. Why do you think that is not enough? Why do you want something more? He says, I was told, once you get the vidya, you go beyond sorrow. Since I have not gone beyond sorrow, what I learned is not enough. Sokam Atma Vidhiti, Sokam Bhagavaha Sochami. Since I am still in the uh, plane of sorrow, Samam Bhagavat Chokasya Param. So please tell me the shore of this anguish. Tarayati. Tarayatvati. That makes me cross this ocean of sorrow. Yadvai Kinchit. Whatever I learn is only name. It's only Nama Yeta. Rugveda is only a name. Yajurveda is only a name. Whatever I learn is only a name. Then he asks, is there something beyond name? He says, yes. The teacher says, yes. What is beyond name? Walk. Walk is speech. 
Is there something beyond work? Hmm. Yeah. Is there something beyond name, speech? Is there something beyond speech, mind? Mind. Is there something beyond mind that which makes you understand Vedas, Vedangas, all that? That's called intelligence. More than the mind, is there something beyond the mind, sankalpa, will. Sankalpa, will. Because the mind comes out of your sankalpa. You want to do something, therefore, from that the thought opens. Bhagav whole creation itself starts with Bhagavan's sankalpa. More than sankalpa is chitta. The ability to discriminate. Intelligence, discrimination. There also, here also, when you see gross and subtle, subtle is greater than the gross, number one. The gross emanates from the subtle, number two. The gross is supported by the subtle. Gross is supported by the subtle. So greater than chittam. Is there something beyond discrimination? Dhyana. Dhyana. Contemplation. Mere understanding is not enough. You have to contemplate on that. Because three stages. Information through Shravana. Contemplation through Manana. Nididhyasana. Experience. I don't know is removed by Sravana. I don't understand is removed by Manana. I don't experience is removed by Nididhyasa. So greater than Chittam is Dhyana. Greater than Dhyana is Vijnana. Here Jnana. Here Vijnana. Vijnana means experience. Greater than it. Uh, this thing is Vijnana because in Dhyana there is Manolaya. Mind becomes dormant, like sleep. Through Vijnana, Mano Nasha. Through Vijnana, Mano Nasha. The mind is dissolved. So, therefore, greater than Dhyana is Vijnana. And all these needs balam, strength. First, physical strength. He told you then, without Anna, you cannot even think. So you have, you have a responsibility to maintain the body. And how to maintain the body? Sixth chapter. There it says the same thing, food. Na ati asna ati. Na cha yekantam anasnataha. Not ati, excessive eating. Yekantam uredya sapra merukla. Moderation. Moderation in food, in hearing, in seeing, in speaking. This is called Brahmacharya. This is called the moderation in everything. What is greater than strength? Annam, because Annam only gives you the strength. What is greater than Annam? Water, because water only gives you that. What is greater than water? Fire. Fire only brings this. What is greater than fire? Here it brings Akasha. Right? What is greater than Akasha? Memory. Because Akasha itself is a product of your mind. Memory. Right? I am almost, almost come to the end. What is greater than mem memory? Aspiration. You may have the memory, but you should have the aspiration. 
What is greater than aspiration? Hope. What is greater than hope? Asha, desire. What is greater than... Why? Because the memory, the Asha is the motivator. It is motivator. What is greater than all these? Prana. Right? Because that is Shutra Atma that connects everything. And that is the Atma that you can go closest. The closest manifestation of Brahman, Hiranyagarbha, is Prana. Beyond this, he asked, he said, Ativadi, you are talking to me. Is not meant to, is not meant to snub him. He is not meant to solve when he says Ativadi. It is actually encouraging. You have now gone beyond the realm of this logic and the sequence. You have gone beyond the realm of this logic and the sequence. Okay. Then, how do I experience that prana also, that understanding also, Ativadi? Speak truth with truth. Truth with truth. What is that? Realization. Internalize realization. How will I do it? Through Sreddha. If you have Sreddha, Sreddha Vang Abate Sreddha you have through steadfastness. You should be, how will you get Sreddha? Nista. If you are steadfast in anything, you develop Sreddha. How will you be steadfast through action? Through continuously acting, you get, you become steadfast. How will you act where you find happiness? You will act. Nobody acts for anything that doesn't give you happiness. Sukham. What is that Sukham? There he brings and closes things. Etra nanyat pasyati. Nanyat Shunoti, Nanyat Vijanadi, Tad Amrutam, Tad Sukham, Yatra Anyat Pashyati, Anyat Shunoti, Anyat Vijanadi, Tad Alpam, Tad Matyam, Alpe Sukham Nasti. In Alpa, there is no Sukha. So it is this Sukha that is the motivator of everything. That is the motivator of everything. And that is the para. Rest of the things are apara. So, where we started Sanat Kumara Narada, he ends with the Bhuma Madhya. That is the seventh chapter. That finished 15 minutes before because Satish wanted to. Om Purnamada Purnamada Purnat Purnamada Chate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamayama Sushyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Purnamata Hari Guru Can I ever give you one clue? Do not worry about all these so many logics. Do not try to memorize. Do not try to memorize. Do not try to intellectualize. It's not necessary. Just take the tip that you need for your living. That tip you try to internalize. That's it. Once you have that understanding experience, everything else is easily known to you. Gurudev's example. Somebody asked him, how are you able to answer all those? He said, when you are standing on the balcony, you see everything going down. So when you are in the balcony of this experience, everything else is known to you. So what is important is to gain this experience. So what is important to that is to get the clues, not the details. After that, know the details. After that, know the details. Okay. All right. Om Shri Chinmaya Sadgurave.